Hey, it's Becca with Rebecca Read Creative, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to sync up your Squarespace calendar and just how to create it as well. This is great if you're a photographer or someone like that who wants to show your availability and not just receive endless emails asking if you're available for that date. Let's get started. Okay, so there are a couple different ways to add a calendar in Squarespace. Um, I wanted to do a small one on the homepage of the site, and so how you do that. Also, if you're wondering how to do um, a background color block like this, I have a video. Um, it's, I think, uh, four ways to make your Squarespace site stand out. Um, I'll link it below so you'll be able to see that. Anyway, back to this. So I go edit um, to wherever you're wanting to put it. And then if you click the little plus button up here, you can type in calendar. And you can drag that um, wherever you want it to be. And then you can manipulate the calendar um, over here, add whatever you want. So I did that right here. And then I wanted to have a bigger calendar. So I have this button seafoam calendar, which for that you just, again, go up here to the plus, type in button and drag a button down. And then I'm going to link that to my full calendar. So the full calendar is another page. Um, on your site, so you can just add a new page. And then once you add a new page, let's go over to it. <clears throat> you're gonna do the same thing. You're going to edit the page and then plus, and then type in calendar, or you might be able to find it, and you can just drag it right in. And so that's how I did this. Um, and again, you can manipulate this calendar to um, show events, uh, you can have it show like photos if you have certain posts or whatever that were done on that day. There's a lot of different things you can do. Okay, so to sync your calendar with events that you have, um, you can go into the calendar and just make sure that you have set it up to show your events. Um, so you can see like there's different things you can put on your calendar, but I want to make sure that this is clicked. Okay, and it is. So then I go down to my events right here. If you don't see this, just go plus and you can add events. And then I will go into it and I've already created a few events, but you can just do plus. Um, I know that they are having yoga on Saturday. So I will put a little bit of a description in there and just that there's yoga starting on Saturday at 7.30. And that'll automatically adjust. You can add tags and categories if you want, but I just want it to be super simple, so I'm going to save and publish it. And then if you go to um, to your calendar, you will see the event pop up. Um, so you can have that. If you want this whole box to be filled with, with a photo, you can do that. So I'm just going to go back and edit this. And... You go to options and add a thumbnail image. You can search for images that are free, which is a really awesome feature. And then select the image, save it, and then it will come up in the full box. All right, so as you can see, you now see it, and if they hover over it, it'll say yoga. And if you look at my homepage, I have that little calendar and you can see that it's, um, uh, since it's a smaller one, I don't want the whole photo, so it's just kind of highlighted. So yeah, I hope that helps you figure out how to create a calendar. It's super easy, and it's a great way to show your clients when you are available. I hope that video was helpful, and if it was, please like it below, and also let me know what you would like tutorials on for Squarespace or Showit or even WordPress, and I would love to help you out. 